Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic with the Wolf Coil, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at the insider threat. Last week, did some training. Uh, one of the things we we're looking at was uh, threat modeling and security exercises. And one of the big questions that was brought up was how do you deal with the insider threat? And how do you communicate in a way that uh, doesn't turn off the executive team, right? Doesn't create too much fear, too much pushback but delivers a message that's really solid. So a tip to you, uh, deliver the message in a good way, which I'm gonna cover. Consider insider threat, which I'm gonna cover. Stay constantly aware of what your users are doing, right? It all is about um, awareness, awareness of your surroundings, uh, which I'm pretty good at. Some people aren't, but you know, I, I got this, I got this. So <laughs> the thing about the insider is you're gonna get pushed back because your management may say, well, wait a minute, we only hire good people. We trust our folks. They're all right. Everyone that's within our four walls, we know about them. We let them in there. It's okay, nothing bad could happen. It's the first thing you need to overcome. Way to do that, I find, is to say, yeah, we trust our people, I get that. But look at how many breaches occur because a trusted insider is compromised through a phishing attack or whatnot. Now, that happens Two thirds of the time, take a look at what happened with Anthem. The Anthem breach was an insider guy who was fished and his computer, his database administrator, his computer was taken over and that was then used to dump out all these records and these records were misappropriated. And no one noticed it, right? I mean, it's surely if you were sitting there looking at your users or I was sitting there looking at my users, I would have noticed it, you would have noticed it. But in this case, for whatever reason, they just missed what was in the background. I don't know why. So the first thing is to express it that way. Uh, the reality is, though, maybe 60% of the attacks have an insider component. Not always malicious, sometimes accidental, but still an insider component. So, step one, communicate it as, we may trust our people, we don't trust that they won't get fished. Because you got good statistics for that. And the voice having to uh, argue whether or not you got good people. Step two is how to look for... Um, bad behavior. This is called User Behavior Analytics, UBA. There's an entire set of talk I could do on this. The basic thing is if you have a good UBA tool, um, you will look for what your users do, compare them against other people in their team, and uh, and try and find the anomaly, right? Very, uh, very good tool, can be kind of pricey. Uh, there's other ways that you can do this other more cost-effective ways that you can do this. And that is by threat modeling. What's the common thing a insider threat may do? Uh, he may um, gather information, right, that they're not supposed to have. Uh, she may log into accounts that are disabled. He may, um, you know, go around and log into someone else. She may get data that she's not supposed to and collect it in the big file and trying to export it. Start coming up with a list of what those insider threats would look like and monitor for those. In my own past experience, I've caught a couple insiders that way, um, specifically by looking for what they're going to do, such as big files, exporting, logging into disabled accounts, those types of things, without having to have UBA. I'm a firm believer in starting out in the small, right? Something small and cheap and effective, like threat modeling with your current tools, and then once you can justify it and you have the evidence to do so, elevating that up to putting in place a full UBA suite. So that's it for me. A couple things to consider about insider threat. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about being observant. At the end of the day, it's all about being aware of your surroundings. It's all about keeping the good guys good and make sure the bad guys get caught. Catch you in the next video.